Okay, I am not feeling good. Hoping to get one thing done today. And that thing is... When we kill a vulture and spawn an egg. Um, if we wait till that egg hatches, it'll spawn a taxi. Then if we grab that jockey before the taxi does, the taxi will just continue to walk looking for its egg. Um, so we need to basically de-instantiate that taxi if its jockey is collected. So that's all I'm going to try to do today. It, it, should be, it shouldn't be hard. It's under a um, player to jockey collision. Right here. So, if the jockey is not in the graveyard and we collide with the jockey, then that jockey becomes collected. Double score is false because the jockeys spawned. We add the score amount. We give a timer to our scores table. And then uh, we move the jockey to the graveyard. Let's see, we need to move the taxi to the graveyard too. So I think all we have to do is say taxis at our index i dot graveyard gets true so that we send not only the jockey to the graveyard but our taxi to the graveyard let's see if that does it so we've got an egg there is the taxi now if we grab it that taxi should disappear well, and we were murdered. Okay, let's see. Oh, dude, get out of here. Okay, so the taxi's there. If I grab this, a taxi goes. That looks right. Let's make sure it works. Uh, hunter. So. As soon as the egg hatches, spawns a taxi, and if we grab the jockey, that taxi disappears, and we get the points. So, it looks like we did it already, that's easy. Now, um, the next step we need to do is tweak the, um, the taxi's AI. So, I think that has to do with um, our taxi class. Let's see what our AI is currently. don't have okay so yeah we don't have anything but the DX we kind of um, initialize our tax yet what is this running in zero I don't know what that is um, I don't think we want that So when we initialize our text here, we give it a DX. Um, that's half the speed of our normal bounded DX, I guess. Uh, it's actually just half of whatever the parameters we pass in. 
but we don't have anything to control how we jump or anything. So we'll have to remake some similar jumping logic that we have for our vultures in our taxi here. Which I am not about to do today, but we can at least kind of take a look at our vulture class and see what we're doing. So what, what we have is um, times between jumps, right? So we have a field to our instantiation and we're decrementing it over delta time and we're saying anytime that's smaller than zero we're gonna set a, a random seed and we're gonna become a boolean just jumped and then we're gonna assign our time between jumps to be a random value between a bunch of different values depending on this tier system now if we are just self jumped we become self flapped um, we get a negative dy, so we go upwards. We set our flap counter to a 0.1, and we become just jumped um, no longer. And then if we're flapped, we start decrementing our flap counter. If our flap counter is smaller or equal to zero, we're no longer flapped. Um, so I think this, if, we're, uh, if we take a look at what our self-flapped does it sets the viewport to be our downwards flapping vulture so we wanted we needed a, a way to do this so that it, our downwards flap isn't just one frame because that didn't look so good so so we're gonna have to implement something very similar to what we do here in our vulture class in our taxi class which is which is that we need we need a time between jumps so that um, actually it's going to be a little different than that we're we want to we're going to have to come up with some sort of ai that says a hey, if our y is beneath if our taxis y is greater than our corresponding eggs y then we need to flap um a certain amount of times now we can say we don't want it to flap you know it, we don't want to flap just if it's greater than because then it can flap um, a lot of times a lot of consecutive frames and we don't necessarily want that we want we want it to kind of you know flap 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 so it's like uh, we that's why we need this Flap counter. Um, flap counter is um, to prevent us from flapping more than one frame in a, in a row, and that way we can actually see the individual downward fl uh, uh, flaps. Uh, it just makes the animation look better. So we're gonna have to do something very similar to that in our taxi class, and then we can say. You know, if our if our taxi's y is smaller than the corresponding jockey's y, um, it's above it. Therefore, we don't want to flap. So that would have the effect of um, that would have the effect of if if our taxi's above the egg, it doesn't flap. But when it goes below it, it would start to flap. But we need to, you know, we need to come up with some logic that gives us a window so that its flapping can, you know, kind of pilot us closer to the to the jockey. So that's gonna be tough. But that's the last bit of our enemy AI is getting this taxi to jockey collision because we need. Right now, it's not really a threat because if we take, you know, if, if we if we pop an egg and have it land up on this second tier or this top tier, watch what happens when when we spawn the taxi. We 
we spawn a taxi, it moves towards the jockey on the x-axis. But it just never reaches him. It just walks towards him, but it's never going to reach him. So we need to give it... We need to give it that thing that says if... If it's... If it's greater than the jockey's Y, then it needs to start flapping because it needs to, to hit that. Um, it needs to hit that that Y in order to get up to him. So um, we we do have collision detection for platforms. So that I'm not too worried about that. But we do need um, we do need to add the flap flap mount based on where it's jockey is because right now it'll never grab that which means it'll never upgrade to a hunter so we need to make it an actual threat and we'll um and then another thing we probably need to do is is make it we did this for us as in the ostrich but not for the vultures where if we have just collided with something uh, we set a just collided timer, and that is so that we cannot play the collide sound um, more than once in the given second of time. Um, because I just saw some of these guys collide, and they made a multiple multiple collision sounds because it was detected for more than one frame at once, and we don't want that to to sound that. So. I want to make a note for us to fix that, and then, uh, and then we'll be um, almost ready to move on from our enemies. Because right now we've got we've got almost everything set. We've got almost everything set in our notes. We did this. We got... The Instantiate Taxi here, we just did that. Okay, so we need... Um, add Collide Sound Restriction. collided which we don't have at the moment and then we need um, a jumping to taxi class and then we need um, Taxi dot y is greater than jockey dot y, and then we need um, there's one other thing. We need to, and I think blue jockey if. Founder is built. Something like that. Because right now we only have white jockeys, which I think the original has a blue jockey if it's about to hatch into a Shadow Lord. I'm not exactly sure on that. I think the original might even cycle back if you kill a Shadow Lord uh, and don't collect its egg. It might go back to a bounder. I'm not exactly sure. But that's something we can test in the original. Um, so we can say...
we've got a couple um, couple of things to do next, so that's good. Our get diff is pretty measly. All we do is take out this running variable and we add this uh, taxi getting sent to the graveyard if we collide. So very easy. Uh, I'm just feeling miserable today, so I wanted to get some amount of programming done. And we did, we added a little feature, so. I'll say how the instantiated taxi on corresponding jockey collision. Get push it and call it a day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll program some more. Hopefully, a better, hopefully, a better, longer day tomorrow. But at least we did it today.